The greatest danger to our planet is the belief that someone else will save it. This is a quote from Robert Swan. Today I'm going to inform you on the importance of coral reefs and how we are at the risk of losing them. Coral reefs take up less than 1% of our ocean floor, but they are home to more than 25% of our marine life. I learned this in the Chasing Coral documentary on Netflix, which was put up in 2017, and it includes a lot of marine biologists and scientists. The documentary also states that in the last 30 years, we have lost 50% of the world's coral reefs, and Florida has lost 80 to 90% of their coral reefs. According to a marine biologist in the Chasing Coral documentary, more than 90% of the world's coral reefs will be gone by 2050 if we do not begin to take action. We need to save our coral reefs. Coral reefs are bleaching, which turns the coral into dead tissue and eventually it deteriorates. This makes it so that it can no longer be a home to any animals or other organisms. Factories are releasing many chemicals and toxins into the air. When these chemicals and toxins are released, so is carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide holds a lot of heat. As stated on the Earth Sky website in an article about how the ocean is warming in 2018, the ocean absorbs 90% of excess heat. So when these chemicals and toxins are in carbon dioxide is being released into the air, the ocean is absorbing it and absorbing a lot of heat. The change in ocean temperature causes coral reefs to bleach. It only takes two degrees Celsius higher for the coral reef to bleach. We need to save our coral reefs. Coral reefs have many uses and are very important to our ecosystem. To begin, fish feed on the coral reefs. A fun fact is that parrotfish feed on these coral, coral reefs, chew it up, digest it, poop it out, and they're actually, their poop is sand. So our beaches are made from parrotfish poop, which essentially comes from coral reefs. I learned this in the Chasing Coral documentary. Um, James Porter, a marine scientist, states that there are drugs that come from the coral reef known to treat arthritis, Alzheimer's, bacterial infections, viruses, and even heart disease, which I learned in the Chasing Coral documentary. The documentary also states that surgeons can use the calcium as a foundation for growing new bone and reconstructive surgery. Charlie Varen, a marine biologist, found that there are at least 340 species that live on the Great Barrier Reef. Unfortunately, many people are unaware of how important the coral reef is for our ecosystem and that they are bleaching. I was unaware of it until I watched this documentary on Netflix, which was extra credit for a class. And now that I know about it, I know how important it is and that people need to know so that we can make a change. We need to save our coral reefs. A marine biologist in the Chasing Coral documentary states that 67% of the coral reefs are already dead. That's like losing trees from Washington DC all the way to Maine. The documentary um, tells us about the first two coral bleachings. Um, the first one was in 1997 and went until 1998. The second was only 13 years later in 2010, and we are now at our third global mass bleaching. The ocean used to be at 26 degrees Celsius, and it has risen four degrees and is now at 30 degrees Celsius. There are many things that each person can do individually to help save our coral reefs. To begin, um, limiting the use of fertilizers can reduce how much it goes into the ocean and pollutes it. We can try to use environmental friendly transportation. This reduces the toxins and going into the air, which essentially causes the ocean to rise in temperature and the coral reefs to bleach. Um, we can completely eliminate littering, no matter what. This is beneficial for our planet and oceans. And if we're given the chance, we need to educate others on this so that we can all to come together and make a change. It's very important to save our coral reefs. Without them, we will harm many organisms and we can destroy a whole ecosystem. These are not dramatic changes that I'm asking you to make, but very small and impactful ones. Today, I have informed you on the importance of coral reefs, how they are being harmed, and what we can do to help them. I hope you'll learn something new and will begin to make a change.